There's a rainbow in the sky. If you take your polarizers that you now have, you will be able to see that the light that comes from this part of the rainbow is almost 100% linearly polarized in that direction. You will see that when you come out and when it rains and when there's a beautiful rainbow in the sky and you take your polarizer and you rotate it, you will see that the light is polarized in this direction. And here it is polarized like so. And here like so. It is polarized, as we say, tangential to this arc. Here it is polarized like so. Why would that light be linearly polarized? Well, that's a good question. And that is something that is not part of this lecture, but I will want to give you at least an idea where it comes from. And then I will demonstrate it to you. The rainbow is formed when sunlight enters water drops, could be a waterfall, could be garden hose, could be rain, it enters that rain, that water drop. Say it comes in like here. When it enters it, it changes direction. In the back here, some of it reflects. This is water. And this is air. It can reflect of that transition, just like, water, like light can reflect of air to glass. And then it comes out again here. And it is this trajectory, which I have not explained to you, but it is that trajectory which is responsible for the formation of the rainbow. And it is here where the reflection occurs that the angle of refraction is almost perfect for the transition from water to air. If this angle were 37 degrees, it would be perfect. It's almost 37. It's actually 40 degrees. It's very close to 37. So it is right here in the back of the raindrop that the polarization occurs. Now I come to the third way, the last part, that we can polarize the light. Not by means of reflection, but remember I mentioned fine dust particles. Light strikes fine dust particles. It doesn't reflect in the nice way that it bounces off glass, but it scatters in all directions. A little bit goes off in this direction, some in this, in different directions. We give that a different word. We call that scattering. And when light scatters off fine dust, it can also become 100% polarized provided you do it just the right way. We have a beam of light coming from below. Later, that's where it will come out. Here is light. The beam of light will come straight up. And we will put dust particles in here. And those dust particles have to be extremely fine, for which we will use cigarette smoke. As much as I hate to smoke, I will have to do that once. And if these small dust particles are here, then some of this light, which comes up, changes the direction, not as nice as it will do of the glass that it reflects, but some of it will go in this direction, some in this direction, some in this direction, some in this way. And some will come to you. Some of it will go to you. And if this light that came this way, is scattered over an angle of 90 degrees, it's 100% polarized. Why? Forget it. That's not important. I just want to show you that it is polarized. How can we be sure that you will see the scattering over 90 degrees? Well, all of you are almost in perfect condition because the light comes up like this, and so if it goes in this direction, no matter whether it goes there, or there, or there, or there, the change in direction is almost always, no matter where you sit in the lecture hall, 90 degrees. Do you follow that? And that is that if the smoke particles are very small, that 
the violet and the blue light are way more likely to scatter than the red and the orange. That's not so easy to understand, but you have to take my word for that. Therefore, if my smoke particles are very small, that smoke will look bluish, because the light comes up, and it is the blue and the violet that likes to be scattered. The red doesn't like to be scattered, it goes straight through. But the blue likes to be scattered. You see a man on the moon. Now there is no atmosphere on the moon. So, if there's no atmosphere, then the sky would look very dark. But this person is walking on the moon and is scuffing his feet, and there are very small dust particles which go up. And here you see that the light from the sun, which comes from the right side, that goes in your direction, looks bluish. Because these are very fine particles, and the blue actually is the color that likes to scatter. And I will get back to this because that's the reason why our sky is... Is there a way that I can make these particles a little larger and show you the color change from bluish to white? And the answer is yes. All I have to do is something that is awful. Hold the smoke in my lungs for maybe half a minute. And then the water vapor in my lungs will precipitate on the dust particles of the smoke and therefore they will grow. And if now I puff out the smoke, there will be very small water drops in that smoke, but they are much larger than the smoke particles and you will clearly see that that light that reaches you, that has been scattered now off the smoke that was in my lungs, is distinctly wider than this blue. So if you're ready for that, just remember, first this color. Okay, there we go. You see the color change? So it was blue, the first time. I mentioned the sky. The sky is blue. Yeah, the sky is blue for the same reason that the smoke is blue. Namely, in the Earth's atmosphere, are many very small dust particles and even if those small dust particles were not there in the atmosphere itself there are small fluctuations of the density of the air and so if I put you at the bottom of the earth atmosphere which is a big blanket of air you are here, and the sunlight, say, comes from here, from this direction. The sun is very far away. Sunlight strikes the atmosphere, coming in like so. If you look straight into the sun, that's a stupid thing to do. There's where the sun is. Straight there where the sun is. Terrible. Don't do that. Look there. What do you see? How can this light ever reach you? scatters. It scatters of these fine dust particles. So what is the color? Blue. Because blue is preferred scattering. Blue and violet are the ones that scatter way more than red and orange. So when you look right there in the sky, look blue. Look blue. Look blue. That's the reason why the sky is blue. The same reason why the smoke is blue. Is it possible, maybe, that some of that sunlight that scatters of the dust in the sky scatters at 90 degrees? If that's the case, I'm in business. I go with my little polarizers, I look at the sky, and I can convince myself that that part of the sky must be 100% polarized. Of course, there's a whole ribbon in the sky, no matter where the sun is. 
as long as the sun is above the horizon, there is a whole plane in the sky, which is always 90 degrees away from the sun. If the sun is there, this is all 90 degrees away from the sun. If the sun is there, this is all 90 degrees away from the sun. Just like this angle, here, 90 degrees. And so, if I look at the sky, not only is the sky blue, which I now perhaps understand a little better, but if I look at the direction which is 90 degrees away from the direction of the sun, no matter where I do that in the sky, with my little polarizer that you have now in your pocket, you can convince yourself that the sky is 100% polarized. 